Hello and welcome to this exciting edition of Take the Fair at the Gear with me, Mr Chumley Warner. And moi, Jason Bangars. And the big question today is, has this keyboard got the X Factor? I have never, ever, ever seen one of these. And, well, tell them what it is, so I just tell them what it is. Well, it's, it's called the Novation... X station. I've never heard of one, I've never seen one. Just as we're setting up cameras and lights, I just had a little play with it. And I got a little tune out of it and it was it was really haunting. This thing is fantastic, so si. how did you get it? How did you find out about them? What the hell? This thing is awesome. Is it the best kept secret in the world or does I think it is? Should, should we should we just we should, should we play a couple of sounds? Go for it, brother. Ching on the money straight away. I love it, I love it, it's, it's really inspiring. That one's very interesting because the higher up you go, it speeds up. Man, this, this, this thing's got so many sounds, man. That's the reason I chose that, because I knew you were going to say... Rubber Johnny, <laughs> Aphex Twin. Yeah, exactly Hell right. yeah. I mean, look, at the end of the day, we could do a separate video on sounds, guys. If you're interested, you better let us know under the... Uh, we can make a separate video just on sounds, because we want to talk to you about this keyboard, and obviously if we keep playing sounds, we're just never going to get there. But Simon's going to play something else. Do you, know, do you know that reminds me of? Uh, I don't know what it reminds you of. Forbidden Planet. Okay. Classic yeah. sci-fi film, that's yeah. exactly. And we'll just do one quickly, last one. See that? Aftertouch. God blimey. That, that would be great for the Ultravox stuff, man. It would be, That's wouldn't it? That's awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. Now you can see how they got the sounds they got with Aftertouch. It's awesome. It's stat time. It's stat time. Chumley stats. Chumley stats, ladies and gentlemen. So, usual question. Where do you reckon it came out, dude? Uh... Uh, I think this is 2020. Back a little bit. Really? Yeah. 2018. Back a bit more. 17? 2004. Wow. This is this is actually looks yeah, much, it's 20 years old, I suppose. God, it looks much more modern than that, doesn't it? Yeah, the, the, the guys and the people in Ovation... They, they did an awesome job. Didn't they just? It's, uh, it's one of those keyboards, like Jay was saying earlier. You start going through the sounds, mm. and you just you want to make songs. You can hear music. Yeah. So I'm just, before, I wish I'd remembered it, because I could have played it to you. So I played a couple of notes, and I went, hang on, let me have a good, because I could hear a song just in three notes that he played. 
and I've got a nice little tune, but I've forgotten it now. And that's what you want. You want a keyboard that inspires you to start writing music, which this is this is one of those. When you start with a blank board, you need some inspiration, and keyboards give you inspiration. Simps give you inspiration. Now, where does this fall, Simon? Is it a keyboard or a synthesizer or both? Well, this is a bit of everything, because what this is... Uh, let's just have a look, because you've got like a, a MIDI interface, you've got an audio interface built into it, so right. you can use it as an audio interface with your computer, plus you've got one of the Novation K-series synthesizers built in, which is what we've been listening to. Okay. And you could literally, with one USB cable, you just straight into your PC or Mac, and it's just amazing. And uh, it's got like semi-weighted keys, you've got aftertouch like we've, like we've already showed you, it was available in like a 25 key version. This is the 49 or bigger 61 key version. It has, well, it's got loads of controls, loads of controls on this for all your filters and everything. It's got, let's have a look, it's got built in effects. So it's got delay, reverb, and it, that really makes the sounds huge. Yeah, there's a lot. We've got delay, reverb, chorus, comp compression, distortion, and EQ. There's loads, and there's some special effects in there which are, are just fantastic. Uh, you've got it's, you powered by you can power it by USB. Can so, you really? Uh, I've got it powered via an adapter, but you can power it via USB. One of your little uh, yeah. phone type charger things. You can power it with that. So over here, if you can see, you've got like an XY pad, similar to a Chaos pad. So you can open up the filters and that. You can also program this to like open, close filters, all kinds of stuff. Browsers. It's got everything. So yeah, you've got inputs for audio, which goes through to your computer. You've got your outputs. You've got your MIDI. You've got your USB. And I, th I think I'm right in saying there's a, like a program that goes with it you can put on your PC. So let's, let's go on to prices then. Right, now we're going to change the section to challenge bangers, but we ain't made a jingle yet, but we will. <laughs> we will do, yeah. So challenge bangers, here we go. So we're going we're gonna to talk about the price for the slightly smaller 25 key version. Brand new. Brand new, because I think the 25... Back in 2004. Yeah, they, they came out first, the 25 keys. Easy, as as easy. As... Easy, 600 quid. Slightly lower, slightly lower. 400? In between. 550. <laughs> 499. So 499 for the... Well, we're far out at 600, but yeah. yeah. And so obviously, yeah, when the when the when this one came out and the slightly bigger one, they're going to be more money. But yeah, I was thinking that's 600 pound all day long. That's why I come up with 600. Back then, that was a lot of money. But uh, yeah, well worth it. Mm -hmm. And with the sounds in it, it's absolutely fantastic. And what do you reckon on eBay today? Obviously, it depends what size, how Easy. many keys you've got. I would suggest 150 to 200 pound would buy you one in reasonable condition. I assume. I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why it looks 150, 200. Depends if you got the 61 key or the 49 yeah. or the smaller yeah. ones. Yeah, I'm talking about this one specifically. Yeah, you're going to be talking around uh, 150 ish. Yeah. Uh, got this one slightly cheaper because. Close. You can see it's got a slightly wonky fader. That ain't no big thing. Uh, it does actually still work, and we've got to say thanks to the guys at Novation, uh, Steve and Will, because they actually sent me, free of charge, two brand new faders. That's great. So that, that'll be a little little repair video at some points. And the, the guys at Novation, what can we say? They're geniuses. That's great. I mean, it's not even after sale service. This is past... This is 20 Sell years. Sell by date <laughs> service. Yeah, this is 20 years uh, old, so it's uh, amazing. Yeah, so that's, that's, like I say, that's really good service, isn't it, for them? There's not many companies after 20 years you they can ring up when they, they send you free stuff. Free, I was just going to say, so they never charged you for it. No, absolutely awesome. So apart from the sounds Novation have made, the service is just fantastic. That's proper. I mean, like I say, if you want another video with loads of sounds on, but I suggest if you go on YouTube, you'll probably find... If you type in the uh, Novation X station. There should be. But this one, uh, I think I got it. I can't remember the guy's name. I think his name's Mika. A uh, lovely guy. And he's put some of his custom sounds in it. That's why this, this yeah. one has got a lot of good stuff in it. The reason we don't go into it in detail, guys, on these videos is because if we do, it would just be here too long. And it would just be sound, sound, sounds. And we don't get to tell you about it and where it comes from and how much they are and whatnot. So... Again, we're taking the fear out of the gear for you, so if you want one of these, you can now go on YouTube and buy with confidence, so long as it's a good working one, eh? Yeah, I'll just check all your knobs and faders, make sure they're okay, but th these yeah. are great. You're bound, after, after this amount of years, you're bound to find a, a loose tooth somewhere. <laughs> exactly right, yeah. <laughs> 
Well, we hope you've enjoyed that, guys. There's another keyboard from us here at Take the Fear, me, Jason Bangers. And me, Mr. Chumley Warner. If you can, click like and subscribe. We don't mean to push it, but if you can, that'd be great. Really appreciate that, and you have been, bless your hearts. Thank you so much. This is Take the Fear Out of Gear, and we're out of here. I'll see you on the next one. Cheer, we.